If we want to extract data from a PDF document, we go to the Get Data menu, File, PDF, and then we select our PDF file. And then here we're going to be presented with the tables found within the document and the pages as well. It's recommended that you select the tables because the tables themselves are uh, selected by Power Query and the pages uh, will be data containing tables as well as other spurious information, uh, which obviously is not contained within a table. So the processing and the hard work has been done by Power Query uh, by presenting the tables. So as you can see, there's many, many pages within this document, something like 180 pages. So for uh, just for demo purposes, I only selected about 10 tables. So now Power Query opens and we can see the 10 queries here. So I select them all and select merge queries in the uh, menu item at the top here in the uh, home. And then I select uh, multiple tables, that's more than two, and then add them. So what this is doing is merging all of those uh, tables into one large table. And because some tables only have two columns, it means that the third column is empty. So we go to back to the worksheet and uh, have a look at the queries and connections pane. We can see we have all of the queries that uh, were connected to each table, but we have our merged query, which is uh, the bottom uh, table there, and we're going to return it to the worksheet. And we can see that it's been formatted as a table for us. Check out my business website too.